as you know, we talk a lot about Wall Street here, but you're one of the people that we turn to about Main Street. And I'd like to get your perspective on how things are going on Main Street across the country uh, when it comes to consumption, but also when it comes to loan origination from those regional banks that you're so familiar with. Well, I think overall the economy is doing well for Main Street, and I think you can see that in the attitude, of, particularly I think the more positive attitude of small businesses who, who've been through a long, tough period, and that's kind of the core part of the banking business. Um, I think for you know banks, there's uh, regional banks. There's good news and bad news. The good news is the tax law was hugely beneficial to regional banks who pay high marginal tax rates and. A good economy looks like uh, lower uh, loan losses. On the challenging side, um, margins are still mighty low for banks. Uh, uh, banks traditionally made most of their money. I mean, this is for a long, long time, borrowing short and lending long, and, and they can't really get much of a margin today. And the other challenge is the, the irony of the uh, of the tax cuts for commercial. Uh, customers is they're going to have much better cash flow, so they'll need to borrow less uh, th than they uh, traditionally would at this point in the economic cycle, which will keeps uh, loan growth relatively slow for banks. There's been some improvement in consumer uh, lending, but I think consumers are still a little hesitant. I think you know time uh, usually raises more optimism, uh, and, and so I think that will help banks going forward. You know, John, you're talking about the health of community banks and uh, investors, perhaps, or, or sort of uh, the depositors not necessarily being there. I was struck by a story in the Wall Street Journal over the weekend talking about how the main regional banks in the U.S. about half of them have actually lost deposits uh, last year, and that was up from a pretty small portion of them the year before. What do you make of this? Yeah, I think people have been moving into other kinds of investments, including the traditional customer base of banks. And a lot of deposits come from modestly older people that have saved an amount, and they've been watching the stock market, and a lot of them are jumping into the stock market now. Uh, I think that's an interesting issue from, what does that tell you about pricing of stocks? Usually when, when this group starts moving into the stock market, it's a bad sign. I don't, I, I, uh, I, I don't know that we can well, say that's a definitive. Th that's actually a huge deal. If you're saying that people are with drawing their savings to go into the market now, that raises some pretty serious risks. <laughs> well, it's an interesting question, but I do think that's exactly what's been happening. You know, uh, interest rates have been so low, so long, and the stock market has done so well, so long, you're seeing people put a higher percentage of their portfolio in non-deposit investments, including primarily the stock market. 